For more than a year, WJZ has been following the story of Miracle Girl Reese Burdett, badly burned and hospitalized for more than two years. She finally went home to her family farm, where she faced yet another health crisis. Denise Koch reports that's when a gift from a stranger saved her life. Seven years old, burned over one third of her body, a house fire also left Reese Burdett's heart and lungs severely damaged. In a coma four months, the Johns Hopkins PICU, nearly two years, she survived. I've never seen anything like this in my life. And in May 2016, the Hopkins doctors and nurses who have grown to love her say goodbye. You're finally going home. <laughs> The town of Mercersburg, Pennsylvania, turns out to welcome her home. On Windy Knoll Farm with her family and the animals she loves, Reese thrives. You look fabulous. You look wonderful. You look healthy, yeah, and happy and relaxed, like you belong right here. And for one wonderful year, Reese has her life back, winning ribbons in the show ring. And at school, where Reese, who studied in the hospital, was right at grade level. I know, right? But everything changed this past September. Her blood work had started to show signs that uh, her kidneys had had enough and she needed some help. Help in the form of a new kidney. So, mom got tested and lots of other people. But because of the many blood transfusions Reese had undergone at Hopkins, finding a donor is very difficult. Finally, 32-year-old Alyssa Hussey, a special education teacher in Virginia, is a match. Honestly, I don't know that I would have done it for just anyone. I mean, she's probably the strongest little girl that I know um, to go through what she's been through and to see her... Um, you know, attitude and demeanor towards everything. So. How do you thank someone for a kidney? Mm, give her a little kidney pillow. <laughs> Did you give her a kidney pillow? <laughs> and a bracelet you know, with and hero and in Reese's handwriting. Hi. Hi. Fear of infection has Reese schooling from home for a while. Ask her the best part of having a new kidney. She can finally eat what she wants. I'd watch out for dairy potatoes <gasps> and bananas. Wait a minute, you yeah. had to watch out for dairy? Yes. How can you live here and not be able to enjoy dairy? Mm, I know. So now she's on a steady diet of cheese. And a young woman from Virginia, once a stranger, is forever welcome at Windy Knoll Farm. She gave up a part of herself to let Reese have a normal life. And I tell Claire all the time, she didn't throw a football, she didn't shoot a basketball, she didn't sing a song, but she's a real life hero walking through a crowd of people every day and you wouldn't even know it. Denise, we're talking about this teacher, Alyssa Hussey. She is incredible. She is really very, very, very generous spirit. Uh, again, as I was saying to you, she didn't really know the family. She had some distant connection. She had seen them once at some picnic or something, but there was no real personal connection. She heard about Reese. She knew about Reese's story and just thought, well, I'll get tested. And it was I mean, they were losing hope of finding a match. That's so generous. It was. And the mother was also a match, but because pediatric kidneys only last generally around 10 years because mm -hmm. the body keeps growing and developing, the doctors were hoping to hold the mother in reserve so that if in 10 years she does need another kidney, they'll have someone okay. to donate. So that was why the mother didn't, didn't do it, even though she was a close, close match. Every single time you check in with Reese, she has shown incredible progress. Oh, it's amazing. Um, the people at Hopkins are still so close to this family because they are remarkable, and this child is remarkable. I mean, really, her trach is about to come out, which is, will be huge for her. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, her prosthetic leg, she's going to have to continue to evolve as she grows and changes, you know, and get new ones. But other than that, I mean, this was another hurdle. They just managed to climb and get over on the other side and remain sweet and positive and loving. And you said she's so funny. She has such a sense of humor. She has a wonderful sense of humor. And you know, next year she goes to middle school. Wow, that's a big change. That's a huge change. Her mother's a little nervous, but as all mothers are when this happens. But um, you know, she has so many friends at school, even though she was gone for so long, through being able to communicate mm -hmm. through computers. And I think she's just so, such a wonderful spirit that the kids all love her. So hopefully know, it'll be good. Do you know if she'll be able to go into school soon? 
Uh, well, it depends. It's all about her immune system, yeah. you know, especially during the winter. I would imagine the doctors are going to keep her home until we're through this flu season, flu through the cold season, sure. and when she's totally, um, you know, they feel that she's really strong enough to handle any germs she might be exposed to. We love seeing how she's doing. Glad she can have dairy again. Yes, <laughs> that was a big deal. I mean, this child eats hunks of cheese <laughs> yeah. at a time. Living with cows, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Denise, for sharing her story.